Hello, me Anthem. So today we are back with another What More Can I Do? So we've got our wings in the tray. We've got plenty of wings in there. We're going to pop them, some fresh thyme in there. Um, we have been growing some fresh thyme at the house, so we, we thought we might as well pop that in there. And it goes fantastically well with the dish we are going to be making. Obviously, salt, pepper, get that roasting and on the go. So today we are going to be making a chicken and sweet corn soup using those wings and that wing meat um, and again good good glug of oil in there get that roasting get that super crisp roasted like almost a sunday lunch flavoring to it in the pan we've got onions garlic and a little bit of the thyme as well and we're just going to sweat that down now i always find this makes a fantastic base for this dish it's quite a brothy hearty soup so get that sweating down once it is sweated down, um, we'll effectively just go in with the sweet corn. So there's our pan. Onions have been sweating down for a little bit now. So they're soft, but they're not cooked all the way through and they're not catching at all. So, of course, this is a really good point to go in with our sweet corn. Now I've just gone frozen sweet corn. You can go fresh if you want, but frozen works perfectly fine for this. And it's cheap and easy. Fantastic to get this time of year. So it's a really easy substitute to use here. So give it a stir, get that back on the heat, just get that again sweating off, get it defrosting effectively, get all those liquid out of there. And that will also help soften the onion and garlic a little bit more as well. Then once that's done, we're going to look at the broth part of it. So as you can see, it's, it's come together really nicely. It's all soft. It's cooking lovely. We're going to go in with some chicken stock now. So again, I've just used two cubes of chicken stock. Um, I've put a good amount of water in with it to compare the amount. Now, it can, can't give you exact milliliter details because it can literally just depend on how much you're making and who you're making it for. So if you're making it for five or six people, you'll need a lot more than I did for just two of us. And even then, I had leftovers. So get that back on the heat, get it all infusing together. Obviously, season to taste. Once we've done that for a little bit and everything's come together nicely, we've got a fantastic broth with the flavour of the onion, the garlic, the sweet corn. As you can see there, come together lovely and obviously that lovely chicken stock as well. We are obviously just going to go in with the main event, the chicken wings. So we've roasted them, we've pulled them apart, so we've got plenty of meat there to play with. And I've gone fairly chunky with this because I think it works really well with it you couldn't go really small i could have chopped them up once i've done that but i think it's lovely with big chunks in there it's almost like a really hearty wintry broth perfect for this time of year and i've gone skin and all as well i've added it all in there so give that a nice mix around as you can see it comes together lovely the juice from the chicken will just slowly go into the broth and also the chicken will absorb some of the broth as well so it's a fantastic trade there and there is effectively our bowl fantastically light delicious and look we've got this lovely big chunk of chicken there fantastic really good for this time of year but give it a go yourself let me know what happens don't forget to like and subscribe Ta for watching take care